Hi there, you could create a personally owned or bring your own device dynamic AD group by with respect to only Windows or if you want to you know include you could you know go for iOS or iPad, iPhone or Mac devices specific. But in this uh, small lecture we would be creating all personally owned Windows devices as the dynamic AD group. So to navigate to the uh, Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center, click on Groups click on a new group and give a meaningful name so in my case it's the name all personally owned windows devices and choose your membership as a dynamic and click on the add dynamic query and this is where you need to know uh, query two things the first thing is personally owned device right that should be the windows device so what i'll be doing is the first thing i would be you know creating the device os type equals to windows and in case if you are looking for iPad or maybe a Mac, uh, then you could you know type here iPad or maybe Android devices. You could you know type here as Android so that it actually pulls the Android devices. So, and then the next uh, expression would be the AND case, uh, which I will be using with the uh, ownership, which includes here device ownership equals to personal. So simply I'll be putting here as a personal. Let's say in this case, if you want to you know, create for a company owned, simply type here as a company that's going to create as the company owned Windows devices. But in our case, we have already created that dynamic AD group. And this time we will be creating all personally owned Windows devices. That's why I've chosen here as a personal and then click on uh, here somewhere in the rules and text box and save it. In case if you want to validate, you could always go here and uh, add your devices and validate them. So for example, I have a couple of devices, Windows devices. So I could simply uh, test them uh, if how this is going to work. For example, in this case, you could see here all of these cases are wrong. Uh, so I don't have any devices uh, which are personally owned Windows devices. All of them I have at this point of time is Windows uh, company owned devices that's how you could you know validate and once you have done um, the query building create it and that's going to create i hope this short lecture is useful for you thank you for watching this